Hello YouTubers, um, my name is Kenny and I'm going to do a review of the NHJ VTV101. It's a uh, wristwatch uh, portable television set. It's uh, kind of a very unique uh, product and I've actually had this one for uh, quite some time. But essentially it's perhaps one of the, uh, the world's smallest uh, color television sets. It's uh, very small, portable and uh, it's exactly what it is. It comes with various different types of accessories. There's a wrist strap, uh, earphones, it has a small uh, separate charger that you can use and it also holds uh, batteries as well in case you want to charge the unit up for portable operation. I choose to keep mine in a small uh, Pelican because as you can appreciate the uh, machine is actually very small so uh, keeps it in uh, very good condition and things of that sort. Um, <clears throat> one of the things uh, that I will say about this particular type of a product is that uh, since the digital changeover or the approaching digital changeover here in Canada, uh, it doesn't incorporate a uh, ATSC compatible tuner. Uh, in my particular instance, uh, this unit only uses uh, VHF channels 2 through 13, UHF uh, 14 through 69, and uh, is only NTSC compliant. It's uh, 5 volts, and uh, one, I'll just show you something else here. It uh, uses a special type of uh, headphones and a headphone jack. I don't know if you can see it very clearly here on this one, but uh, you can't use. Uh, standard earphones uh, with this because it also incorporates uh, an antenna as well. I'll just hold it up here and just give you a little bit of a sizing of it here. As you can see I don't have any picture on it now because I also just unplugged the antenna but it's uh, very small. I'll show it to you in comparison with the standard uh, SD card. It's uh, not much bigger as you can see, than an SD card. It's uh, it's very small in comparison. This unit uh, doesn't actually take SD or anything like that. It's just a small uh, television. And just plug the antenna back in here. And as we can see here, we have the news on at the moment. It uh, runs for approximately about an hour to an hour and a half on a uh, typical charge. And uh, it's one of the few um, items of this nature that was uh, made. Uh, the first type of a wristwatch style television was actually created by Seiko uh, sometime back in the early 80s, I think it was. And at that time it was a black and white unit. Uh, it had a separate display screen and you also had to use a separate uh, tuner pack which was basically about the size of a Walkman. Um, Aside from that, all I can really t say about this item is that it's uh, it's unique. It's more of a novelty uh, type of an item. If you appreciate things such as uh, communications, electronics, broadcasting, or generally just basically uh, TV in general, um, it's a pretty good example of uh, how small uh, some of the different types of modern day technology are. Um, as you can see, a television set that's about the size of a matchbox is uh, <laughs> its uh, pretty unique. Um, one of the things that uh, I had noticed that other users had stated is that, well, since that they had a digital changeover, uh, the device basically was no longer usable. Uh, not that you would particularly wish to use this for extended periods of viewing or remote viewing or things of uh, that type of an instance, but uh, you can use a small uh, modulator and a modulator will broadcast the signal from an ATSC uh, digital receiving box or a VCR or a DVD recorder or anything basically with a video source and it will transmit it back into an NTSC compliant signal that can be received on an item like this. So it's pretty good for demonstration purposes and things like that. Uh, at the moment I'm receiving an off-ear channel on it uh, which is uh, CBC, CBNT channel 8 which we have uh, off-ear. And uh, 
that's pretty much all that I can say about it. I didn't really see a big lot of information about this online. Um, I obviously I purchased this one back some time ago. Um, this item was actually originally purchased, um, I believe, from Hong Kong. Um, the person that I purchased it from was actually in Greece. So, um, there we go. It's uh, just a pretty good example, I guess, of uh, the way, you know, some of these different types of items are and whatnot. I can't really say much more about it. Uh, I'll give you some specific specifications on it. It has 61,600 uh, total pixels in the display for a one inch uh, screen, which is roughly 280 by 220 pixels. So uh, it does have good resolution, but uh, it's actually, you know, as you can appreciate, it's small. It's uh, actually an inch and a half, which would be uh, 29.5 millimeters by 22.2 uh, millimeters, and it is uh, liquid crystal. And uh, it works at 5 volts, 4.2 volts. Um, it's 500 Philly. 550 milliamp hours of um, battery. It consumes approximately two watts, runs for an hour, takes about 90 minutes to fully charge. And uh, let me see here, what else can I say about it? The, the specifications more or less will say that it will run for three hours when it's uh, completely fully charged. So there you go. But anyways, it's a very uh, interesting item. They don't make it anymore. Uh, this was actually first uh, manufactured in 2004 by a company, uh, NHJ Limited, uh, or NHJ Limited Tokyo, uh, Japan. The, they were the actual distributor, and their web address is www.nhjapan.com. Uh, their distributor in the United States was NHJ USA Incorporated, Suite 204910, West San Marcos Boulevard, San Marcos, California, 92069, and their toll-free customer support number is 1-888-8645-8645. So there you have it. It's the, uh, perhaps I think it's the world's smallest uh, television set. So there you go. Anyways, uh, best wishes from uh, Kenny in uh, Newfoundland, Canada to all my YouTube viewers. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you.